Minecraft's toughest mob, the Warden. They say it can kill you within two hits with full netherite armor. And we are going to take it on in hardcore Minecraft. Before we start in the video, if you could take a minute to go down to that red subscribe button and click it for me, that would help me out a ton as we are trying to reach 400 subscribers. Okay, so we're in a birch forest to start off with. At least it's better than being stranded in an ocean. Now to get some wood. The wood will be very vital in order to make tools. 13 logs should do for now. Now to craft it into birch planks. Now to make ourselves a crafting table. That should serve very useful in getting more upgrades. Now to make some sticks. We're going to need the sticks to make all wooden tools. Now to make ourselves an axe. Now to make a pickaxe. Actually, let's hold off on getting all wooden tools. That way, we can use our wood when we really need it. And let's get some wool to make a bed. As a plus side, it also gives us some food. Okay, we have three wool and three mutton. Now we're able to make a bed. And hopefully we have enough food until we get more food. Oh my gosh, we found exposed iron. Let's get some stone to make a stone pickaxe and let's mine up that iron. We also got the achievement Stone Age. That makes me wonder, shouldn't there also be an achievement called Wood Age? Awesome, we have our stone pickaxe. Now we're able to mine up the iron. Should help me out a ton on my travels. Oh, and I also must not forget we got the achievement getting an upgrade. In the grand total, we got three iron. That's enough to make an iron axe which should help a ton. Since technically iron axe deals more damage in Java. Let's mine up just a bit more cobblestone so we can make a furnace. And let's just mine a bit more just in case. While mining, I've also appeared to find coal. That should be very helpful if I'm Exploring caves, especially since we're going to fight the warden. Oh my, even more coal! So in the end, I got 24 cobblestone and 34 coal. That's awesome! Now let's go ahead and craft ourselves two furnaces. Then we can have double the smelting power. Let's put the iron in one. Awesome! And the food goes in the other. Awesome! So in the grand scheme of things, we're technically saving. Let's see. A couple of seconds. And whilst that's smelting, might as well craft my bed. Now I've got a nice comfy bed to accompany me on my travels. And we just got the achievement, acquire hardware. Okay, our food is now done and our iron is also done. In fact, while the furnaces were finishing up, I even had time to mine up more cobblestone. So I'm back to 20 cobblestone. Now to make ourselves that iron axe. Awesome, now we'll be able to chop the trees much faster. In fact, crafting a boat might help us even more along our journeys. In fact, let's just get a bit more food. That way, we'll be sure not to die. In fact, I think we should just strip mine four diamonds. So let's start a strip mine. Yes, we found more coal. Awesome. That might just come in handy later on. So in total, we have a grand total of 55 coal. That's a very good amount if I do say so myself. Now let's take the coal and craft some torches. 16 torches should do for now. And I found some copper. I don't think I'll buy to collect it all because I don't think I'll need copper to fight the warden. I'll just collect the copper that's in my path. Awesome! Oh my! Even more iron! That will be very, very useful later on. Now to keep on strip mining. Our goal is to find some diamonds. Hopefully we find some soon. Even more coal! Let's go ahead and mine it up. Awesome! Coal is all mined up now. Now to continue strip mining in hopes of finding some diamonds. Let's go ahead and make some more torches. 42 torches should do for now. Wait, guys! Oh my gosh! Is that what I think it is? That the deep dark? Oh my gosh, I was just trying to strip mine four diamonds and I managed to find the deep dark. No way! I think we just go for it. Yeah, I think we just go and try to defeat the warden. Even though we have no armor, I just say we go for it. If we play it strategically, we might have a chance against the warden. Okay, guys, so I'm crouching and I'm sneaking around just to make sure the warden doesn't wake up. Let's go ahead and craft some trap doors. I think the strap will be to get under a trap door and get in a one block space. I don't know if the warden can get to a one block space. Hopefully not though. And we got the achievement, sneak 100. Guys, what have I triggered? What have I triggered? It's getting dark, oh no, oh no. Better not die here, I better not.
not die here. This is going very pear-shaped. Okay, guys, I'm in trapdoor position. Brace for impact. The sensor thingies triggered something. That's all I know. I'm no redstone master, but I know that those sensor thingies sending waves can't be a good thing. Guys, it's here. It's here. Oh, no. It doesn't seem happy. It really doesn't seem happy. Wait, guys, I'm actually getting hits on it. Wait, will we be able to defeat it? Oh, no, guys. The warden just rammed into me. Oh, no. Well, it was a very good try. In the end, would I recommend battling the warden? If you have to, yes. If you don't, don't do it. If you're not prepared at all, it's a really, really bad idea to fight the warden with no armor. As you see here, I died because the warden just rammed into me, and I was in a one-by-one -one space, and I didn't manage to survive. But yes, this was an absolutely epic experience, and I can't wait for the 1.19 update, and it's gonna just be epic. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching and keep on glowing.